Lower mortgage rates are helping to lift the U.S. housing market. New figures out today from the Commerce Department find that housing starts rose 3.8 percent last month. Permits for future home construction soared to the highest level in more than 12 years. Joining us now is Courtney Dominguez. She is financial advisor at Payne Capital Management. Um, good to see you as always, Courtney. Thanks for having me. You say that this report today, great news for future home buyers. Why is that? Yeah. We're really, you're, we're in this area right now where I think millennials have kind of gotten a bad rap over the last several years, but they are a large generation that is starting to start their own families and buying houses. And right now you're seeing housing starts go up, which is really in line with that. And you're at a time where interest rates are really low, so you can take advantage of low mortgage rates. So you're finally starting to see that demand really come to fruition. What I see really positive is it's a really confidence uh, confidence sign that the consumer is spending right now, which is a really big part of our economy. But also we know that in the housing market, yes, the demand needs to be there, but so does the supply. How does that yeah. look, especially for first time home buyers, those looking to enter the market? What's supply like right now? Supply has been really low. So this right. is actually a really good sign that developers are now looking at starting new developments, bigger developments at a time where it's easier to get loans to buy a house for the first time. So it's all a really good thing for a new home buyer. So 30 year mortgage rate averaging what, 3.75%? Exactly. Uh, you're, and with the Fed not looking to move really in either direction on rates, at least for the foreseeable future, you think yeah. they're gonna stay around there? That's what the consensus is, but I do think as new home buyers really should be looking to take advantage of that because this time last year, everybody's guess was interest rates were going to rise. They lowered. So we really never know how these things are going to go going forward. But with rates so low, especially compared to their historical averages, it's a wonderful thing to take advantage of. I'm curious where in the country right now you can find the most value when it comes to housing. Well, with this report that just came out, it was really in the Midwest and the South that we saw all of this increase in demand and increase in supply. Mm -hmm. The Northeast, right where we're sitting right now, is actually the one that was lowered, which was kind of an interesting sign right now. So we are seeing maybe more of the places where people are moving into the suburbs. That's really where you're seeing this demand. Are we starting to see bidding wars happening now? And if so, in what parts of the country? Yeah, and um, again, you're not not seeing that in the Northeast, and maybe that's something with the new tax laws and um, mm. with real estate and property taxes so high here, you're not necessarily seeing that as much, but in some of your lower cost states, that's really where you're seeing your demand. As you look ahead to 2020, anything that you can think of that might trip up the housing market? I think the, the biggest thing is going to be interest rates, because this is easily your most interest rate sensitive sector. Um, so if interest rates do stay low, I do th see that as a positive sign for the sector. If they do rise, which is not the consensus, but could very well happen as we're starting to see inflation kick in, I think that's probably going to be its biggest deterrent. How important is, I mean, the housing market to the overall economy? We keep hearing about how the consumer is the economic engine, right? Yeah. But we've actually seen times where the housing market has sputtered, but the overall economy is doing pretty well. How important is housing? Yeah, housing is about 3% of the economy, so it is a substantial stake, but not, not nearly as large as some other sections. But it is consumer spending. That is about 70% of GDP. So seeing a confident and a strong consumer, that's what I see as a really positive sign. And in terms of contractors looking to build, what are we seeing there? It's actually, it's a lot of contractors are starting new developments right now, which is, again, So is it really first-time homes? Is it apartment buildings? What are we seeing them build? It's more single home owners than it is multi-home owners right now, which is pretty fascinating. Mm. And you're coming at a time right now where millennials are starting to start their own families and want their own homes. But also you have baby boomers, which is the next largest generation, and they're looking to downsize into retirement right now. So you're seeing a lot of these, these big shifts in two of the largest generations right now in our country. All right, it's actually going to be an exciting time, I think, for housing yeah. in 2020. Mm -hmm. Courtney Dominguez, thanks as always. Thanks for having me.